Okay, now we'll take a look at what we would call a typical vertebra, okay? C1, remember, is the atlas all by itself. C2 is the axis all by itself. Then C3 through C7 would be considered typical cervicals, okay? So since it's typical, we expect to see common features. We have the spinous process, okay? On either side, I have a transverse process. And as we saw with C1 and C2, all transverse processes in the cervicals I would refer to as transverse foramen, okay? And A and P2, we'll talk about the transverse foramen again and see that the vertebral artery goes up through there to supply blood to the brain, okay? If we look kind of as a, at a posterior to anterior view, you'll be able to see the two superior articulating processes and then the flat part of that process is the facet. If we look on an anterior to posterior view underneath there, we can see the inferior articular process and again, the flat part is the inferior articular facet, okay? I've got my spinous process that I'm holding here in the back, and then coming off the spinous process on either side, I have what are referred to as the lamina, okay? So typically you'll find your lamina connecting your spinous process to your transverse process, okay? The pedicles look a little bit bizarre in the cervicals. They're easier to see on the thoracic and lumbar.